Hello everyone, welcome to Semi Home Study with Abby. Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video. I appreciate you being here. We have an exciting video today because we have two things on the agenda that we are actually gonna do. The first one, as you can probably tell from the title, is we are gonna make beeswax lotion. So again, I'm trying to move towards like non-toxic products and making good substitutions for my everyday health and everyday household products. So, so far I have made non-toxic candles, uh, lip balm, and now we are going to do lotion today. It's gonna to be very similar to the lip balm. The ratios of everything is a little bit different. We will get to that in a minute. The second thing that we are going to do, speaking of the beeswax lip balm, I need to fix my lip balms. Now, when I did the video, I tested it out and I said, oh, it's really hard to get on your lips, but once you do, and once you kind of fight to get it on your lips, it does work. However, I had this idea for one of them, and I think it was this one. So this one I did a little experiment, and I used this handy dandy blowtorch to basically heat up as much as I could of the beeswax in here. And I added a few drops of avocado oil because I noticed with the lotion recipes, you had to have a liquid oil, not just coconut oil, which is solid at room temperature. So I heated this up and added some of the avocado oil, and now it's just so much better. It looks like really messy because I kind of just stirred it and it started drying unevenly, but for experiment's sake, I didn't really care. So now if I do this and then put it directly on my lips, it is a thousand times easier to apply and to actually feel it on your lips. So that brings me to trying to fix all of these. Now, I don't want to go around with each one and individually like blast them with this and have them all look messy. So I was thinking about a way I could fix all of them pretty easily. And I think what I'm gonna do is lay them out all on a baking sheet and bake all of the tins at like 250 degrees or so, 220 maybe, and just get the beeswax nice and liquid again, and then just add some drops of avocado oil. Because realistically, I will probably never use this lip balm if it's that hard to apply. So I need to do something so I don't just waste all this lip balm. I think that's gonna work. So those are the two things we are going to do today. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Okay, so first up is the lotion and I ordered these little lotion containers on Amazon. They're just these little like plastic white lid screw top ones that are pretty good for like a travel size and you can, you know, easily apply and things like that. So I got like, I think probably 30 of them. I'm not gonna use all of them, I'm sure, but I do wanna try and fill up at least a few. So let's pull up the lotion recipe. Okay, so this recipe is from oursimplehomestead.com and the recipe calls for one half cup of beeswax, one cup of organic olive oil, half a cup of coconut oil, and then an optional half teaspoon of vitamin E oil, which I do not have, so I'm just gonna skip that. And then you add 30 drops of your favorite essential oil. So as usual, I'm gonna do lavender because I like lavender stuff, you know? It's just as simple as that. I was gonna try to expand, but I just like that lavender is gentle, nice, and it smells really good. It says it should make about a pint of lotion, which would fill six two ounce cosmetic jars. So I definitely have enough of that. I'm just gonna do one batch. I'm not gonna double it or anything. Just, I think six two ounce cosmetic jars for my first round is good so I can test out the recipe and see if I like it before I make like some huge batch. So I'm going to start melting the beeswax pellets and then we can just combine everything and we're good to go. All right, I got a half a cup of beeswax in there starting to melt so I'm going to preheat the oven so that I can start fixing my lip balm. I decided on 250. All right, time to start trying to salvage the lip balm. So there's like 32 lip balms. So I'm gonna take off all the lids and then line them up on here. I also need to make sure I don't mix up the flavors. So I'm gonna do vanilla on this side and lavender on this side. I'm sure I could probably smell them also, but this is just gonna be easier. I'm actually gonna put tin foil on the bottom so that if the beeswax melts, I don't have to clean off my pan. I decided parchment paper would work just as well. Okay, all of a sudden my beeswax got kind of hot. So let's revisit what else I need to add to this. I'm gonna move it off the heat for a second. Okay, I'm gonna use avocado oil instead of olive oil for no other reason than I have it and I would like to use it up. 
And then we're gonna do a half a cup of coconut oil. Coconut oil is not my favorite to do things with. It's like too hard and it's a little bit annoying, but we're working with it. So I need to do that. The oven's ready. Since I make like everything lavender and it says to add 30 drops, and I don't wanna have to split that up between my lotion containers. I am just gonna add lavender in here. Usually I wait to add it to the individual containers, but I don't feel like doing that this time and spilling the whole thing. So I'm just gonna add 30 essential oil drops directly into here. And that way it will just be less of a mess. Okay, now we're just gonna keep it over the heat for a little bit longer, make sure everything's melted, and then we can pour it into our um, lotion containers. Now that we have that going, let's get back to our lip balm salvage effort. All right, I have them all on the tray. I know which side is vanilla and which side is lavender, so time to put these in the oven. I have absolutely no idea how long I should be keeping those in the oven for, and I really hope this works. I can't think of a reason why it wouldn't, but I'm really hoping. Um, I'm just gonna keep an eye on them, you know, every few minutes until I feel like they're nice and melted. But I'm gonna prepare a little cup or a little like espresso cup or something of avocado oil so that I can have a little bit more control of pouring it than I did when I did the little tester. I do not want it to be a huge mess and I want some easy pouring. Let's go prep that. I have this little creamer thing from a tea set, so I'm gonna put the avocado oil in here. Right, that should be good, that should be enough for sure, but I'll just keep it right here at the ready in case. Now that that's ready, the time has come to pour our lotion containers. That is all melted and I'm gonna keep it warm while I get all these prepped. So I'm gonna prep six containers. I might actually prep like seven or eight just in case. The time is almost here for our lotion to be done. So I'm gonna get the containers out and we'll prep those. Containers also have these like little freshness seals on them. I'm not exactly sure when I should put those on, but I'll probably let them cool a little bit and then stick them on. All right, I'm gonna do the same exact thing where I pour it in here and then pour it in the containers because I just thought it worked pretty well last time. Oh, got a little overzealous here. Oh no. I definitely have some more in here. I did spill some on the first pour, so I'm gonna try to wipe that up. It does feel very lotion-y. It's already like pretty much dry. It's harder than like normal lotion because it's beeswax lotion, I think, but I think it's gonna be nice. All right, those are cooling. I feel like it's gonna be luxurious lotion. I'm very excited after feeling what had dripped on the counter. I'm assuming the lip balms are possibly done or melted, so I'm gonna check on those and then we can add our avocado oil and, um, and then we're finished. They're not done yet, but I need to show you this very odd thing that's happening with the vanilla. And I kind of saw the same problem when I was actually making the vanilla the first time, how they were like droplets that formed. But look at that. Like the vanilla is like rising or something, separating from the other ones. Very weird. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but they're definitely not done melting yet. So we'll give it a little bit. So here's a little bit of a closer view of the lotions just before they cool. They're definitely starting to firm up around the edges, so shouldn't be too long. Okay, this is very interesting. The vanilla one is like boiling and the lavender one is not. Honestly, I'm starting to think vanilla was not the move, but it'll work. So I'm gonna set you up here. We're gonna take it out of the stove and then add our avocado oil. Don't want it to spill too much. Okay, that's looking good. I don't exactly know how much to add, but I'm just gonna go with my gut here. Just a few drops, I think, for each. I used actually the perfect amount of avocado oil. I have been so good at estimating recently, if you've seen my last videos. Okay, now I'm gonna stir each one. This is where they're gonna spill a little bit, I think, cause some of them are pretty darn um, full. Some of them I have to kind of purposely stir a lot so that they um, 
spill a little bit because they're just too, like way too full. Okay, they're all stirred. So I'm just gonna let those sit. My lotion is getting closer to being done. Not quite fully done yet, but we're getting there. Okay, first let's test out a lip balm since I was trying to do some damage control. They're still a little bit hard, but definitely better. Like, it's definitely a lot easier to spread it and it does still feel very good on the lips. Honestly, it didn't get as soft as I wanted it to, so maybe next time I would even put more avocado oil. But it's an improvement, so I'm fine with it. This is my first time making these after all, so I can adjust the recipe, you know, in the future. Okay, I need to wipe off some of the containers for the lotion here, but they look really, really good. Like, pretty professional if I do say so myself. So let's try some of this. So I'm gonna rub it on the back of my hand just to see. Ooh. Okay, this is definitely better than the lip balm. I really, really like this. You can tell that it's nice and smooth and like really good lotion. I can tell my skin's gonna feel amazing. So this is definitely a success. I'm very, very excited about the lotion. I think this would be very good for like chapped knuckles and really, really dry skin. This is 100% a success. Lip balm, I'll still have to adjust a little bit. Actually, I wonder if this, stand by. Hmm. Okay. This has like the same exact ingredients in a different ratio as the lip balm. I feel like I'm just gonna use this as lip balm and lotion. Like, this is amazing. It's the perfect amount of spreadable. I can use it on my hands if it's really chapped, but I might not wanna do it every day because it's like a little bit oily and stuff. But for my lips, I think I accidentally discovered a way better lip balm trying to make lotion. So maybe these tie together more than I thought. So that actually worked out really, really well. Man, I really like the feeling of this on my lips. Okay, well, what an inadvertent success. I'm so happy that worked out. Well, that is all for today's video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe for more semi-homesteading videos, and I will see you all next video. Bye, everyone.